Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Electrical Forensics and we're here to review this experiment that I started in March 2013 and it's a plant experiment and we've got three Diefenbachias and for the longest time I actually couldn't get my Diefenbachias to grow normal. They were growing like this, they were getting this really small leaf growth and I later figured out that my home is filled with radio frequencies that cause this really small leaf growth to occur. And it's a very different plant to what the Diefenbachia should actually look like. So I accidentally figured out that if you hook them up to a one and a half volt battery and you connect one side of the battery terminal to the metal pot and the other side up to the top of the plant, then you actually get a much better plant growth. And as you can see, this particular plant is growing much, much better than the control plant in the middle. It's actually almost twice the size. But the important thing I want you to pay attention to is the size of the leaves. So, for the longest time I could not get a Diefenbachia to grow with leaves the size of my hand. But you hook them up to a battery and you get something that's approaching the normal growth. That was quite surprising. And it doesn't matter about the polarity of the battery. As you can see, this one is positive polarity. The original one that we looked at was negative. And you get the great growth regardless of polarity. So what's actually going on is there's actually a DC voltage in the atmosphere and it's been either reduced or completely collapsed at my home. And that's probably happened because I live near cell phone towers and uh, I also have transmitting utility meters and for the longest time they were actually making me sick. I didn't know what it was and through these plant experiments, I actually realized it was the radio frequency exposures. So yeah, if you can't grow this plant at your home, or if it grows looking like this, and not like this, there's a good chance your Diefenbachia is in a very high radio field, and it's trying to tell you that something is wrong. So we're going to leave this experiment running, and we're going to see how it continues. Well, that's where we're up to right now. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.